Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play, that's right, Farming World. I saw this in the Daily Deals yesterday, I bought it and today I've installed it, I thought I'd give it a try. Looks like a strategy slash management game, so it could be interesting, then again it could be really boring. Anyway, new game. Um, let's do tutorial shall we, learn how to play, step by step, yada yada yada. Please wait. Welcome to Farming World. Your goal is to create a thriving agricultural company. To succeed, you will need to grow an assortment of plants, look after animals, and pay close attention to weather reports. You'll be able to buy or rent plots of land to expand your farm while purchasing buildings and vehicles to help with production and general farm work. Good luck. Let's get familiar with the game interface. On the left is the game menu. These panels in the upper center of the screen. What's this? So this is main menu, farmer center, rent by land, market, contracts, statistics, bank, open tutorial window. The panels in the upper center of the screen will give you information about your current money, stars, storage space, and will tell you the time. So that's my money, that's my stars, that's my silo, that's my warehouse. That's my cooled warehouse, that's my garage slots for air and ground vehicles. And that is the time. Let's pause it, shall we? And we've got show soil quality, show owned land, show height information panels, jump to players HQ, and jump to AI's HQ. Okay. In the upper right corner you'll find day and night cycle. That's the day, it's moving to the night. You can pause fast for the time using these buttons. On the left side there are three buttons which you can use to bring up information about your land. You can hover over the mouse buttons to receive information on what each button will do. You'll find the log window below. You see warnings and advice about your farm. If you click any of the messages in the log window, the screen will move to the incident. In control is left mouse button, we list select and deselect objects, click buttons, etc. The right mouse button when held will move the camera. Mouse wheel zooms in and out. How far can we zoom out? Pretty far. When the game starts, you'll be given a small village with some basic tarmac road. Please click rent by land button from the main menu on the left side. Okay. A new window will open which will allow you to rent or buy property. To select your first field you need to left click and drag the mouse. This will create a grid to show the area you have selected. Once you've selected an area, rent by window will share information about what piece of about that piece of land, including soil quality and price. If you try to select an invalid area, some of the squares in the grid will turn red. Okay. After you select a valid area, please click either rent or buy button. Um, so let's see, we've got a house there, so if I go... Let's see, we're next to the road. If I go... If I buy the land, let's see, if I go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Should I rent it or should I buy it? I think I'm going to flat out buy it because then I never have to worry about the price. Yes. Congratulations, you have bought your first plot of land. Please move the mouse over your newly acquired land and click on it. Okay. You can find some useful information about your land, which will let you check soil quality, the current water level, expected yield, and whether you have used organic or synthetic product to care for that land. On the right side, there is a red button which you can use to terminate your rental contract or sell your land. With your plot of land selected, you will see some control options. The first small button allows you to plough your fields. Please left click the plough icon. Whoa. Um, a window for the farmer center will open from here. You're able to select a vehicle, plow the field. You'll find some information on each vehicle, including speed, efficiency, and cost. Some vehicles, however, may be locked. In order to use them, you need to spend your earned bonus stars to unlock them. However, hover over the buttons below the vehicles and choose the rent button from one of the vehicles. Um, 
you are locked. So we've got this one here. Buy or rent. Or it says to rent, so let's rent it. The basic plow. Once rented, the tractor will begin to work on your land. If you want to speed up the plowing process, you can adjust the game speed. Please wait until the vehicle has completed its work. Okay, let's unpause it. It's going to take a little while, so let's speed it up. Plowing the land. Let's use some fertilizer to do this. Click on the second button on the land's control panel. Um, fertilizer, sowing plant. Okay, fertilizer. The farmer's center window has opened again. You are now able to select organic or synthetic fertilizer. Please choose an unlocked item and click the buy button. Um, Organic. What's the difference? Synthetic or organic? Let's do the organic, shall we? Yes. Choose an unlocked vehicle. Fertilizer basic. Let's rent you. The tractor has begun to work on your land. Wait until the vehicle is finished work. You may speed up the fertilizing process by increasing the speed. level 88% excellent job I suggest you now click the third button named sowing or planting okay sowing or planting do once again you are back in the farmer center but now you're able to select seeds plants and trees at the top of the window there is a subcategory buttons that will let you filter items okay every plant has a segmented area where you're able to find important information including price soil quality demand and what month that plant will begin to grow bottom section reveals information of the growing phase of the plant and what kind of weather conditions are required for it to grow. It can be quite daunting but in the upper right corner you'll find Elroy who will give you advice for just a little bit of money. Please click on the button next to his picture to ask for advice. Okay. Pay Elroy to get planting advice who will tell you which seeds, plants and trees will grow best now. After hiring Elroy, stars will appear on the bottom left corner of each plant's picture. Depending on whether the star is filled or opaque, it is representative of Elroy's voice on what plants he recommends you to grow. Elroy's recommendations will last for one week, but you can hire him again after this period. For more information, you can hover your mouse over the star. Please select the vegetable subcategory and then choose cabbage. Um, vegetables. Alright, vegetables, there we go. And cabbage, okay. Buy the cabbage for 750. Um, fully preferred for growing, estimated yield percent, 100%, estimated quality percent. Uh, type, soil quality demand for good growing. Best gain per square in ton. Cost, vegetable, manual work required. Okay, let's buy this. Choose an unlocked vehicle. Well, we need the planter basic. Rent you. Speed up the time while it's doing that. Hundred and eight tons. That's good because we only can store hundred and ten tons. So that worked out quite well. Congratulations, you have sowed your first plot of land. To minimize damage from pests to your plants, you can use pesticides. There are two types, organic and synthetic. If you use synthetic pesticide, 
you lose your plant's organic status this means it will sell for a lower value on the market okay when your land reaches the seeding phase please click the fourth button to use pesticide you can speed up the growing process to reach that state by increasing the game speed okay daytime speed it up again There we go, and then use pesticide. Please select small organic pesticide. Um, that's synthetic. Ah, organic pesticide small. Let's use U. And we use the sprayer basic. Bend U. Trudge is now starting to spray pesticide on your land. Wait until the vehicle has finished work. Speed up. Yep, I want to speed up. You'll see these spray pesticide in your crop a second time once they reach the ripen phase. Please set the game speed to maximum. Set the game speed to maximum, okay? Ripen phase. Click on the fifth button on your lands, okay? Small organic pesticide. Yes. You, yes. Okay. Speed up the game. Sometimes you need to check your land's water level underneath the gold stars. On the land menu, there is a blue bar. This represents the current water level. You can water your territory once a day. After planting, I suggest you check the weather reports from time to time to keep your plants hydrated. Please click the watering button. Uh, blue bar, water level 95%. Let's do this anyway. As you can see, you have filled the bar slightly. If this level drops to zero, you will receive a warning message. Now you have to wait a few days. Please set the game speed to maximum. Okay. Um. What is that? Land infected, final crop quality will drop. What's it doing? Okay. When you start a new game, you begin with a garage, silo, and warehouse. Later on, you will need to check how much free storage space you have before you can harvest crops. Please click the harvest crop button. Um, expenses. Total bonus star, okay. Your farm is okay. Harvest. What's this? Disease attacking the crops. This land can be harvested. We'll choose an unlocked worker. We should choose basic worker. Yes. As you can see, a farm worker started to harvest the crops in your land. Wait until the harvest has completed. In the meantime, click your star reward for harvesting. Feel free to increase game speed. Click the stars. Woo. Good job. The workers have placed the goods obtained from harvesting into your warehouse. Every time you complete a harvest, you receive one bonus star, which can be used to unlock items in the farmer's market. Please click the market button to the left hand side of the screen. Okay. The market window from here you can sell your goods. There are two buttons at the top left side of the window. The first button lets you sell goods at the suggested market value, and the second button lets you sell goods on the private market. You can sort through your current goods by using the filter buttons at the top of this window. In the main market area, you can see up to 10 items of data at one time. Every row will reveal more information about a particular product including how much that item will sell per ton and you can set the selling quantity with a scrolling bar. Please set the quantity of your cabbage to 2, check the sell price and then use the sell button at the bottom window. Okay so okay the quantity. Now what? Ah, sell. Great, you 
sold your first item on market. Now let's check the private market area, please. Click the button in the top left corner to enter the private market. In the private market you find two new buttons, one which will reveal your current opportunities and another which will show you all of your contracted items currently placed on the private market. Um, in the private market you are able to set the price of your goods, with this you can receive a considerably higher profit but you will not know when you will sell your goods. You will need to hire a Johanna who will act as your market manager. She will locate buyers for your goods. She will also take a fee out of every transaction she has made. Please hire Johanna by clicking on the button in the top right corner. Okay, now set the quantity of your cabbage to two again. This is a higher price with the scroll bar and then press the make contracts button in the bottom right corner. Okay, so quantity. and increase the price let's do it for 200 per ton and make contracts as you can see there is new data in the quantity contracted column it shows how much the stock owner is looking to sell to private buyers if you want to modify this contract you need to select the contractor button please select the contractor button you can modify your contracted items quantity and price from here. You can suspend your contract with Jonah at any time. Now it's time to purchase animals for our farm. Please close the market window and click on the farm's center button on the left hand side of the screen. Um, market price per ton, storage, organic product quality. Okay, let's close view and go to the farmer center. Please set the buildings category. Buildings. Please click the animal related subcategory. Now please buy the following building. Pen for large animals, small. Make sure to place the building in a valid area. one here a valid area that needs to be next to a road does it um, place it there in the farmers market you can purchase many types of buildings including garages, silos, warehouses and more. Please close the farmers centre window and click on the newly built animal pen. Let's buy some animals, click on the buy animal button. Buy some cows for your pen. Um, hey. Why is that not working? This is buy some cows for your pen. Unlock. Aha, there we go. Cost five stars. And then buy. Congratulations, you bought your first animal. Please increase the game speed to maximum and just wait a little while. What a level. Your animals are infants. On your building information panel you can see that the animals have now reached a mature age. Their fodder level has also decreased. In order to preserve your animals, please click the buy organic fodder button. Um, buy organic fodder. You have now topped up the fodder level. When your animals reach mature status you can sell them on the market. Some of them can even produce other goods during their lifetime like milk or eggs. After the end of the mature status, your animals will grow old, where they, where their quality would deteriorate to their death. Please open the market window. Your animals have a specific pen ID. Please use the scroll bar plus button to sell just one animal. Um. 
one. Okay, 55. Please close this window and open the farmer's census to build a butchery. We're picking the buildings category. Production plants. Buy a butchery building. Butchery large and buildings in a valid area. Okay. Unlock you for 20 stars. Build you. Ooh, you're a bit big, aren't you? Let's place you here. That's expensive. Close the farmer center window and click your newest building. Okay. Please press the set factory production button. Um, that one there. In this window you can set the building to produce new goods. There is a scroll bar in the left side. Use this to choose from your raw animals raw materials you can see all materials in the list that this type of factory can process but you can select only what you have in storage there is another scroll bar on the right side where you can choose what you want to produce when you select an item the other side will be filtered accordingly at the top of the window you can see the raw material and product information along with the wastage factor which can be found above the arrow for now, choose your cow on the left hand side and select beef as your final product. Once this is complete, you can either click the icon on the bottom right of the window to cancel production or click the set production icon on the left to set your production. Click that button now to set the production to beef. Okay, well I'm going to go cow to beef. And quality and it's organic. Okay, set production. As you can see, the arrow on the factory's information panel changed to green. You can turn the factory on or off, set the production facility to auto activate when conditions are met. When the factory produces something, you obtain a star you can collect them from the buildings information panel and use them in the farmer center to unlock items. Now let's talk about contracts. Click the contracts button on the left side of the screen. This is the contracts window. At the moment it's completely empty because we have not yet undertaken any contracts. The four buttons at the top of the window allow you to filter between available, closed, active, available, closed and achievements. Please click on the available contracts. Uh, as you can see, there is a new contract for us to accept. Check the information and click the accept button. Um, a partner is looking for a reliable producer to deliver goods. He wants cabbage. It's two tons every 30 days. Oh, um, it lasts for. I think I don't know. Anyway, this is, I think that's. We can accept it in 30 days and we have to complete it within 180 and we receive this much money. Anyway, accept. Please click the show active contracts. We've put the requested product into your storage so you can fulfill this contract. Click the complete contract button. Complete contract. Let's switch to close contract to check our progress. Click the show close contracts button. Okay. From here we can see all of the contracts we've completed. Now check the last page, achievements. You're able to check the progress of your achievements from the page. Whenever you fulfill an achievement, whenever you fulfill an achievement, you can claim a reward. Please close the window and click the statistics menu on the bottom left hand, bottom left -hand side. Statistics. In this window you can see the last 12 well, statistics. This data will help you run an efficient economic farm. After you have checked the statistics window, please close it and set the bank button to the left hand side of the screen. Okay, so here's my income, here's my expenses, and here's my financial flows. Land expenses, financial flows, something, 
something else, something weather forecast, ah, contract weather forecast, watering, greenhouse heating, cost of animals, cost of production, vehicles, buildings, spraying, fertilization, cost of plants, and something else. Go to the bank. Um, this is the bank window, you can borrow money and repay existing loans here. Sometimes it can be very favourable for you to borrow money to kickstart your farm, but you'll need to be cautious of the repayment plan you select. Please click the accept loan. Um, 20% basically, and we're paying a thousand dollars a month. Next instalment, one month, end of instalment, one year, okay. Accept loan. Now it's time to check the weather. You can check the forecast by clicking the weather forecast button at the top of the screen next to the game time. Weather forecast. You are now in the weather forecast window. This window has four segmented areas of information. At the top you can subscribe to Sarah, the meteorologist weather report, depending on how much you spend and what you subscribe to. The weather forecast accuracy can vary. The part below will show you the next week's weather data. From here you're able to check rainfall, temperature, how many hours the sunshine will have. This is all very important when choosing a plant to grow. The third segment the section will let you check check the monthly summary of weather data for the next 12 months. If you subscribe to a monthly accurate weather forecast, your first month's information will be accurate. The last section provides you with weather warnings that will affect your crops. For example, your crops could be under attack from frost or perhaps you suffer a sudden change in temperature that can affect the growth of your plants. Like subscribe to the weekly forecast with high accuracy by clicking the button at the top of the window. As you can see, the data has now changed. Rain, not much rain, is there? Um, and you receive a little more information, please close the window. Um, minimum temperature, average temperature, maximum temperature, hours of sunshine, accuracy of forecast, accurate, accurate, accurate. Um, weather expected, cloud, cloud and sun, sunny, cloud and sun, cloud, sunny, sunny. Okay. At the end of each month, you'll see a monthly summary window. Now the tutorial will fast forward one month in time to show you a monthly summary screen. You can see vital economic information about your farm. You can see your budgetary change from last month and see some suggestions to help improve your farm further. When you're ready, please close the window. Um, expenses, monthly total, bonus star, income. Okay, your farm is okay. That's pretty good. Congratulations, you've just completed the tutorial. Push the next button and I shall drop you back to the main menu where you can start a new game in campaign mode. Good luck. Next. Okay, well, that's it for part one. That was the tutorial. Um, in part two, we shall start a new farm then. I'll see you then, guys.